Hello you guys, it is JK and welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you with another makeup video and you guessed it, it is on this look right here. I am so obsessed, I cannot stop staring at myself. I cannot stop like taking pictures and taking selfies of myself because oh my god, this look looks so good. But yeah, I used only two palettes so we're not, you know, super crazy or intense with this but I just wanted to show you guys some more dramatic looks because I'm super into them right now and yeah so I'm gonna stop yapping and we're just gonna get right into it I'm actually gonna go into the Alexis stone palette today the instinct palette this whole palette just has mattes it's nothing else just mattes of like different varieties but it's a very very useful palette so we're gonna go kind of down this row maybe kind of like into this row but we'll kind of see how it goes i also want to go into my abh riviera palette and go into this shade right here to go all over the lid but we'll kind of see when we kind of get there of what i really want to do because i'm kind of all over the place so first things first let's go ahead and grab so we're going to go into this uh zoeva 228 lux brush it's just a fluffy brush we're gonna go into number three which is the first of the blue shades and we're gonna pop this into our crease and blend it upwards all right so that looks pretty good it looks pretty blended it's a really nice shade and it looks really really pretty just on its own but I'm gonna go in and go into the next blue shade which is going to be number 10 and we're gonna blend this into our crease just a little bit lower. And we're not gonna blend this upwards. This one's more of like a cerulean color than like a turtle seafoam green color. So then I'm gonna go into a larger fluffy brush and just make sure that everything's kind of blended together. And I'm gonna take that second shade and just kind of bring it in. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the shade number 17, and I'm just gonna bring that on the outer edge. We have a special guest here that has joined us because someone doesn't wanna be on the floor. So these are all from the same family, so they're gonna blend together almost, but it is, it is creating a little bit of depth, like you can kinda tell. There's depth on this side, whereas on this side, it's just kind of the same color. And then I'm going to dip back into that very last shade, that really navy sort of blue. And I'm going to just take it on the tip of my brush and really take off the excess, tap off the excess, and just focus this on the outer edge. All right, so that looks really, really good so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Revere palette and I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on this teal shade right here. And I'm going to take it on a brush because it's kind of crumbly. It has like a crumbly consistency. I'm gonna, so I'm going to take a flat tip brush and I'm just going to pack this on my lid. And this is really close to that color family. So it's going to look really nice blended. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of that second shade that we popped on and just kind of revive it above my crease. But other than that, that looks great. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This looks so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation, my concealer and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna come back and do the rest of my base with you guys. All right, so I have done my eyebrows, set my face and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and contour. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I've really been in love with this ever since, I mean, ever since I started doing makeup, but I really like this right now just because it's the perfect shade because I'm so like pale right now it's just the absolute perfect shade to just warm everything up I'm really bold for contouring without my without my mirror I'm just looking in the viewfinder and hoping that it looks really good this gives me a lighter contour than most other palettes do. That's kind of why I've been loving it so much. So for blush, I'm going to go into this Maybelline Fit Me blush in Peach. This is this used to be one of my favorites just because the color is so flattering. I've kind of recently re rediscovered it. I started wearing blush because of this blush and its color. 
And I like putting my blush on before I dust off this powder underneath my eyes because it'll kind of sweep away any excess blush as well. So for my under eye, I'm gonna go into that very, very first shade that we went into. And I'm gonna just take this on this Ulta brush. It's kind of like a like fluffy flat brush. And I'm just gonna dip right into it and I'm gonna pack this on my lower lash line. The reason why I like doing something with like a brush like this is because it's it's flat enough to be able to like really pack that shadow on, but also you can go right in and just smudge it as well, really, really easily. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't wanna really go overboard on my lower lash line. I wanna keep it everything like super simple and like very like hi how are you so now that that you see how like the blush got toned down on its own just by me brushing my little bake i guess off but it just kind of like melts everything that powder you guys that essence powder i cannot stop talking about it because like look at that where are my under eyes where are any creases i don't know because i can't see them it's so good, it's so phenomenal. You guys should like go ahead and pick it up and like just try it out. Like don't, don't take my word for it. Go ahead and try it out and then you'll be like, wow, she was right. Okay, let's go in for some highlight. For highlight, I've been um, using this Luxie 522 um, tapered highlight brush. I just really like the shape of it. So I have absolutely been loving this. So for highlight, I don't wanna do my usual gold. I wanna go in for like a champagne-y tone. I think I'm gonna go into like, um, a mixture of vacation and baby girl and just kind of mix these two together and then that'll be like my highlight shade oh and this is the Bretman Roth Morphe palette I really like this I got it as a gift I didn't buy it I really like it I think that the highlights are really really nice there's a highlight for pretty much any skin tone in here which I really like because it's a good staple for like especially an artist because then you don't have to carry like a bunch of like single pans you can just carry this and kind of know that there's like every single shade that you would need so I kind of really like that like practicality wise would I use all of these shades on myself probably not unless maybe I used some of them for like like as an eyeshadow I love like highlighting my inner corner because the whole look starts to come together like you look so much more awake i'm gonna go ahead and set set my face with this makeup setting spray from valgie and labs i used to use this a lot and then oh i know what happened it was in my this is what I use because it, it, it is a matte setting spray. So I use this on clients mostly, but I ran out of all of my other setting sprays, so I didn't have anything else. So I was like, okay, I'll just use this. But I love, like, the packaging of this is so luxe. Um, and it does have vitamin E oil, or yeah, it has vitamin E to help kind of moisturize and really, like, lock in your look. I really like using this on clients, especially if they're wearing it pretty much for all, like, the entire day. They're going to be doing a bunch of things. I like using this because this is very long lasting so for my lips i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna go in with this mac lip liner in strip down and i'm gonna go in with the believe beauty liquid lipstick in foxy all right you guys so here's the final look oh my gosh i am obsessed i am so obsessed with this look it's so like beautiful and these colors just complement each other so so well i'm so excited to go take some pictures of this but i just wanted to show you guys a look that's super dramatic i've been getting into the mood of like super dramatic looks i am going to do some neutral looks if you send me some neutral looks i promise i will get to them right now i'm just like really really inspired um by like the artistry of makeup so i've been just trying to focus on like the creative side but i love it so so much let me know what you guys think let me know what other kinds of looks you guys want to see and i'd be more than happy to recreate this for you thank you so much for watching and with that being said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in a video super super soon Mwah. bye guys